Hey guys, it's Maddie from Let's Eat Plants, and today I'm going to show you how to turn your morning oatmeal into pancakes. Here's what we'll need for today's recipe. Of course, we're going to need some rolled oats, some kind of plant milk. I like unsweetened soy milk, but you can use any plant milk that you like, and one ripe banana. So we're just going to start off by measuring one and a half cups of our rolled oats. one and a quarter cup soy milk. And of course our banana. And we are gonna blend this mixture for about a minute until it's smooth. Just adjust the speed as needed to get it to a smooth consistency. And that is actually the whole entire recipe. But of course, if you wanna jazz it up a bit, it is optional to add in a half a teaspoon cinnamon and one teaspoon vanilla. And you of course can add these at the beginning. I just wanted to show the basic recipe without them since they are of course optional. And here's what your batter should look like. It should be a pretty thin consistency if you like a thinner pancake, or of course you can use less milk if you like a thicker pancake. So pour out your pancakes and just allow them to cook until you see bubbles starting to form and pop, and then give them a flip. Repeat the process until all your batter has been used up. Now you can serve these however you like. I of course love to have them with banana, maple syrup, and some nuts, but you could even do some mixed berries on top of here. You could add some peanut butter. You could always do date paste instead of maple syrup. Plenty of different topping options. Now these of course are not a super fluffy pancake because we didn't add any baking powder, but I also feel the texture's pretty good. They're not quite as dense as other oat pancakes I've had before, and I actually prefer to have a thinner pancake. I think it makes the texture a little bit better, but of course that is up to you. Now for leftover pancakes, I usually just keep them in the fridge for a few days, or if you wanna make a large batch and freeze some, I highly suggest using parchment paper in between the pancakes so they don't stick together. So just cut your parchment paper into small squares and place one piece between each pancake. And even after they're frozen, you can see they easily come apart from the parchment paper, and you can just pop them in the microwave or your toaster. And there you have it, super easy three ingredient pancakes, a great alternative to your morning oats. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like down below. If you're new here and you like whole food plant-based recipes, don't forget to subscribe. I'm making new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And with that, let's eat plants, and I will see you guys next time.